Hi, this is Rob Weigander with Microsoft. And today, Stephen Debbing and I want to talk to you about unified communications and show you a demonstration of the solution itself. So as you can see, while I'm talking to you, Steve Deming is actually calling me, and I get full caller ID. I have the ability to redirect him to voicemail because right now we're talking. So I can send him off to voicemail and continue our discussion. He's able to leave me voicemail, and my voicemail will show up in my Exchange inbox. So now I've moved over to my Outlook client, and as you can see, I received this voicemail from Steve. The great part is I have his full message here in text, or I have the ability to play the audio itself. Hi Rob, it's Steve. I just wanted to call and tell you that I reviewed your suggestion and although I liked it, I'm not sure we can do it that way. Uh, give me a call when you have a chance and uh, we can discuss it further. Thanks. So not only do I get the full text, but I also get that audio as well. And so right here, Steve and I can have this conversation. I can now call Steve from a PC to PC perspective, or I could even call his cell phone. And as you saw when I got the call in, he could redirect this if he wanted to another device. Steve. Hi, Rob. It's Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? Doing very well. So we're having a good discussion here, and thanks for picking it up. If you don't mind, I'd like to share video and let you know how passionate I am about this plan. And so now my video is started. And in a moment, Steve will accept his video request and share his video with me. And now we have Steve in Steve's office. Hey there, Rob. We can do this face to face. So Steve, what are your thoughts? I just think we should take a different approach. I think the, uh, the approach that you are proposing is, is a little off. Okay, well, what I'd like to do is show you the spreadsheet I put together that, that really articulates what's going on here. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just share my monitor and then go ahead and bring up this spreadsheet. So Stephen, are you seeing my spreadsheet yet? And there it is. So as you can see, I'm sharing my whole desktop with Steve and now I can share this spreadsheet with Steve as well. There we go. So Steve, these are the numbers I'm looking at. What are your thoughts? So I just think we should be a little bit more uh, realistic about December's figures. I don't think they're going to be quite as good as you thought. Okay. Maybe bring them down by 10 to 15%. Okay. So real easily make these changes. Well, if you're saying lower the numbers, apparently you have something in mind for you. So I'll lower your number significantly. But me, <laughs> I was actually sandbagging. I think I'll do better. But since Russ is on vacation, I don't expect Russ to bring in a lot either. That works for me. Okay. So, Steve, now that we've shared video and desktop, any thoughts you want to share? With I think what's uh, amazing about the link technology is the fact that we can start at any level of the conversation that we want, whether it's I am, whether it's voice, and then escalate it to what we need in order to get our jobs done without having to go through a lot of extra steps. It's all there, ready to go. All we need to do is say where we need to go. Super. Well, Steve, with that, I thank you for your time, and we're going to go ahead and end this. So now that you've seen Stephen and I share that video and desktop experience, I want to remind you about the power of Link 2010. As we wrap this up, the next question is, how do we get started? We have competencies for both messaging and communications. We also have this unified communications business value assessment. This is a billable engagement for your customers so you can help them understand the value they'll see in Link and the unified communication solution. I hope this demonstration has helped and I look forward to speaking with you again.